In order to get to the next level, I had to make sacrifices. The reality was I was overweight, I was out of shape. You know what, I started to give up soda and only drink water. I gave up french fries. Before I knew it, I had to get disciplined. So my question for anybody to get to that next level, what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up? Who are you willing to stop hanging around? You know what, I spent a lot of time drinking and hanging out with my boys. I had to give that up. And while they were at the nightclub, while they were at the bar drinking, I got into the stadium. I stole a key from the manager and at midnight, I would get shots up. At midnight, I would work on my game. And that's the kind of passion, that's the kind of commitment it takes to get to that next level. So as a training and development person, my first question is to make sure what are you willing to give up? What is your discipline like? What is your work ethic like? Are you just comfortable right now? You got an $80,000 job and you're comfortable. You work on a work queue and you're comfortable. You can't get comfortable. None of us can arrive. None of us can just go through the motions. Our job is to get bigger, stronger, and faster. Our job is to get better. All my clients, at least minimum, got to get 10% better. You can't hang around me and not get better. You can't hang around me and stay the same. Because me staying the same almost ruined my future. By staying the same, I got stuck. And I got inspired that I got to get better. I got to get to this next level. And I'm obsessed with this next level. Now, I'm obsessed with helping helping you get to your next level. You can't afford to stay the same. I want you to travel. I want you to have a big house. I want you to have a nice car. But most importantly, I want you to get to the top. I want you to have your dreams come true so you can have this feeling that I have. This feeling that I have, nobody can take it away. I know what it feels like to have a hope and a dream and to get it. We're not chasing dreams, we're catching them. What is your dream? What did you stay in front of that classroom in third grade? What did you say to that teacher? What did you tell your mom and your friends? What did you say before you gave up? What did you say before reality became, became your truth? When did you accept the lie? When did you get comfortable? When did you get off track? When did you stop? When did you quit? I'm here to push you. I'm here to drive you. I'm here to connect with you. When did you give up? When did you talk yourself out of it? I need you to talk yourself back into it. I need you to make sure that you get those notes out. What are your goals? What are your dreams? I'm here to help you. I know you can get there. I know you can get to that next level. No doubt about it, but you gotta work, baby. You gotta work, you gotta rise up early. You gotta go to bed late. Let me tell you something, you gotta get obsessive. What are you obsessed with? You can't act normal and think you're gonna make normal money. You can't act common and think you're going to live in a common house. Any successful person I've ever seen in my life, they are different. They are obsessive. They are uncommon. And if you want to get to that next level, you got to do something different, baby. Because who you are today is not your potential. Who you are today is just a point of reference. Don't you ever confuse your potential with who you are right now. And my job is to be on a mission to help you get to your next level. Oh, I'm not gonna let you quit. I'm not gonna let you stop. I'm not gonna let you have excuses. I'm not gonna let you come up with justifications. Cause right now, I promise you, you have justified something in your mind and in your reality, you think it's true. You think it's really true on why you're not where you're supposed to be. Let me tell you something, you need to get to where you're supposed to be. I remember at our high school, the bell would ring and the principal would come into the hallway. If you were out in the hallway after the bell, he would yell and say, hey, hey, where are you supposed to be, son? Hey, young lady, where are you supposed to be? And all the students would run to class because they knew where they were supposed to be. So can I ask you a question? Where are you supposed to be? Based on your dreams, based on your goals, based on your vision, where are you supposed to be? That night changed my life. My father reminded me of where I was supposed to be. And all of a sudden, I had to become somebody different in order to get to where I'm supposed to be. See, I'm in a transformation business. That's all I'm about. Your next level requires you to transform. You gotta think better, you have to execute better, and you have to win better. But it requires transformation. You can't stay the same and get to where you're supposed to be. Your company can't stay the same and get to where it's supposed to be. Our job is to improve. Our job is to get bigger. Our job is to get stronger. Our job is to get faster. Every single year I'm gonna push you. Every single year I'm gonna drive you until you reach your potential. And you can go back to your class reunion and you can look at your classmates and say, yep, yep, yep. I'm that lawyer I'm supposed to be. I'm that entrepreneur I'm supposed to be. I'm on the global platform doing international business, just like I told you way back when in the third grade. Always get.
to where you're supposed to be. You know, I was a high school star. I just thought I was on to do great things. You know, I was a typical kid. You know, we all stood up in front of class in the third grade and fourth grade and said what we were going to be when we grew up. You know, I was no different than any other student. Everybody in the world did that, right? It was like an exercise we all did. So my message was, I'm going to play pro sports, and when I'm done playing pro sports, I'm going to make more money in business than I did in sports. And everything was going along fine until when I got to college, I found myself sitting on the bench. A high school stud basically becoming a scrub sitting on the bench. And I never forget, all of a sudden I recalibrated my dreams and goals and my father called me on the phone. This was the turning point. He asked me a question that really changed my life. He said, son, you don't play, why not? When I gave him what I thought was my truth, I gave him what I thought was my reality, only to find out now it was an excuse. I said, Dad, pol politics, Dad, it's political. My father said, what? He said, son, if you can help that coach win, you will play. Go back and do what you said you're going to do. And all of a sudden, I got reconnected to that little kid on the inside of me that had dreams or goals of getting to that next level. I went to my coach, and I said, coach, what do I need to do to play in the NBA? See, in many cases, sometimes we get stuck, we get stagnant, and we lose that fire and that passion because we forgot our vision, we forgot our goals, we forgot our dreams, and all of a sudden reality takes over. All of a sudden circumstances take over. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on a mission to make sure that everybody in this world knows that that next level is waiting for you. You can become that person you wanted to be when you were 10 or 11 and 12. You don't have to let your reality take over and all of a sudden you live this normal life. You don't want to have a normal life. Why have a job and just be normal? Why have a company and just be average? I'm telling you, you should be on a mission to get to that next level. My coach told me what I needed to work on, and ladies and gentlemen, I had to up my game. I had to start working harder, right? I stole a key from a manager, and I would go into the arena at midnight and work on my game, work on my left hand, work on my right hand. I got fundamentally sound. All of a sudden, I began to realize that I got to get better. I'm not just good enough, and I began to confuse my potential with who I was at the time. That might be the biggest mistake that people make around the world. They confuse their potential with who I was at the time. People get hired based on their potential. But your work ethic is what's going to make you a vice president. Your work ethic is going to make sure that you become a CEO. Being fundamentally sound in marketing and selling and customer service. I became fundamentally sound and I made it to the NBA. And before I knew it, I got cut. Because I realized that all I wanted to do was to get there. I had no vision to be an impact player. Ladies and gentlemen, you got the job. But that's not enough. Don't relax. Don't settle. You got to get bigger, stronger, and faster. You got to get better. You got to make sure it's your work ethic. Getting that job is just the beginning. That's not the end. You want to live your dreams. You want to have your goals. You want to get to that next level, ladies and gentlemen. You want to take trips. You want to have a nice house. You want to have a nice car. You want to know powerful people so your kids can have access and their lives can be easier than yours. You are beginning a legacy and your job is not just take your career to the next level. Your job to take your family to the next level so your kids are better positioned than you were. All of a sudden when my career ended I had no money coming in and I was starting over from scratch but there was a difference. I knew what it took to be the best in the world. I sat down with the speaker who was a Hall of Fame speaker and I said what do I need to do to become a Hall of Fame speaker like you and at this breakfast I did not have enough money to pay for it and he told me what I needed to do to get to the next level, and I did it. So here I am, it's the Hall of Fame induction. And another speaker came up to me and said, you know what, aren't you excited? You're getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. And I looked her in her eye and I said, you know what, miss, I am very excited. But this time, I expected to be here. This time, I knew exactly what it took to get to that next level. So when I go and speak, I'm all about the next level. When I coach executives, I'm all about the next level. You have to master fundamentals. You have to have a good vision. You have to make sure your mindset is right. You have to make sure you understand how to operate in a team. But most importantly, you have to be accountable. We live a world where people lack accountability. 
That's why my best-selling book, All But Stink, is so popular. It's how to live your best life and eliminate excuses. Because until any of us own our situation, until we become accountable, we are all crippled by our own excuses that we believe are real. All I want people to know is that they can get 10% better every single year. If we get 10% better every single year, in five years, we won't notice you. In five years, you won't notice your own bank account. You won't notice your own career. You will get bigger, stronger, and faster. You will get more effective. You will get promoted. You'll drive more revenue. But ladies and gentlemen, next level is about purpose. Next level is about understanding what it takes to get there. I'm on a mission. Because if I can get to that next level in two different industries, I know that I got a message for the whole world. And I have the information that I can teach to make sure that anyone can have that dream come true that they had in their third grade class, that they had in their fourth grade class. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't quit. Don't pick reality. I'm telling you, that dream that you had way back when can become true. And it can become your reality.